brother! You guys, I am so excited today because the Pokemon company, like the, the Pokemon company, sent us a bunch of boxes celebrating the Pokemon trading card game celebrations set. So we haven't quite cracked into this yet, but just based on this one right here, I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing uh, a few card unboxings today to see what is in this set. If you don't know anything about it, it's not like a regular set. Uh, all the packs will just have four cards in them and there's 50 cards total in the set, 25 of which are like modern playable cards, 25 of which are like, reprints of really famous uh, old vintage cards, including the base set Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise, none of which I have ever owned at any point in my life. So I am so hoping we pulled that. Some other chase cards on the table though are also the uh, Golden Mew, the Full Art Professor's Research, and what else are we looking for, Ben? Any Pikachu V Max of any kind, anything Pikachu V. There's surfing Pikachu, there's flying Pikachu, all really cool. But maybe the card I am most hoping to pull is the base set Pikachu full art card, which is just beautiful. It will be legal for standard play, and and now it features a Parasect in the back. So I'm gonna start with this one, but first I'm gonna see what else we're gonna be opening from inside this box. I haven't opened it yet. I am so excited. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys, we have more to open than I realized. Oh my goodness. So the unusual thing about the set is if you want any of the cards, they all come in like special promotional products. It's not like you just go buy a booster card. So like we've got the Leon's Charizard V10 right here. It looks like, oh, we have an elite trainer box. These are always awesome. Always good bang for your buck. And then they've got like specific cards. Like this is, okay, we've got the Dragapult box. I think there's nine different uh, promotional products you can buy. It looks like we have a, quite a sampling of them. The Dark Sylveon box. The Zacian box. Oh, <laughs> you guys, this is the Pikachu V Union. You have to put all four of these cards together and then make a single Pokemon. I think this is the only way to get one. Ooh, that is, oh, it comes with a big one. That's so cool. Okay, lastly, there is a uh, collector's chest that kind of looks like a big lunch box uh, with lots of different packs inside. So we're gonna open everything. Let's hope we get some good stuff. We're gonna go get like glamour shots of all the other boxes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start with this one, the Pikachu VMAX one, cause it comes with a little fat Pikachu toy. Oh my gosh, dreams coming true, you guys. Here we go. All right, all right we have three regular booster packs from Darkness Blaze, Vivid Voltage, and Chilling Rain. These are not the new celebration ones. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. Look at the little Pikachu. Oh my gosh. She's so cute and he's got the little v -max. He's so chubby, I love it. This is going on the set, y'all. I'm gonna start with the V and the VMAX cards because those are easy to get out. Oh, there you go. Our first card of uh, Pokemon Celebration. It's got the little 25th anniversary symbol right there. That's how you know it's from the set. This is also a brand new Pikachu V that uh, doesn't exist for standard play yet. And of course, we have the matching chubby Pikachu VMAX. This is actually a reprint print of the current Pikachu VMAX, but with new artwork and of course the 25th anniversary logo. But here you go, this is what we're after, the brand new Celebration Booster Packs. They only come with four cards per pack, which usually means each card is pretty cool. We have eight packs in our first box, uh, plus whatever came in the rest of the box that everyone is taking footage of right now. I am so excited about this. These are such like, there's gonna be base set cards in here and it's, it's, that's so cool. Oh, 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 the flying Pikachu, yes! Oh, I'm so, I was, did not think we were gonna get that. What else have we got? Ho-Oh, okay, excellent. We've got Lugia to go with Ho-Ho, and oh, this one looks very shiny. What's it gonna be? <gasps> oh, goodness, look at this Reshiram. That is so much shiny. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I don't think this is a current legal playable card. It doesn't have like the little uh, marker, the little E down here at the bottom. That's usually what you can use to tell is presently legal. This I think is just a reprint, but oh goodness, how pretty. All right, pack number two. Woo, we've got the Zamazenta V. Man, I like this. This pack, this set already, we're getting such good stuff. 
immediately. Okay, ready? We've got the Eveltal, the Cosmog, and Xerneas. All right, not quite as exciting as the Reshiram, but still. One off the bottom, flip it over. Oh, there you go, to evolve our Cosmog. We got our Soul Galeo right there. Lugia, second Lugia, pretty common. Psh, a second Xerneas and the Kyogre, Goop from the Nuzlocke. Oh, and there's like, who's swimming with them? I don't even know. All right, next pack. All right, there we go. Now we have Cosmog, Lunala, and Stogaleo right there. We've got the full set. Second Uveltal, another Cosmog, and here comes Team Rocket. Oh, that's, that's a reprint of like a uh, base, uh, I guess it's from the Rocket set, right? That's pretty cool, man. I could uh, I remember pulling this card as a kid, so that is a lot of nostalgia. It was like, ooh, I got a, I got a rare trainer card. Ooh, ooh, that's so fun. Pack number six, one off the top. Here we go. Ooh, a Mew. Not the Mew, but a Mew. So this, I think, Mysterious Tale, this is a version of the Mew we're looking for. The one we want is is gold and it is a shiny Mew on it, but this has the same effect. So that's a good start because it's a pretty usable card. Kyogre, Cosmog, and Lugia. All right, I'm pretty happy with the Mew. That's our, uh, definitely a new pull. Pack number seven. Oh, right, dude, I was so hoping we were gonna get this. I love, Professor's Research is probably the best supporter card in the game right now. There's a ton of different versions of them, but this one, Oak is reaching out of the frame and doing the research on the card itself. I love that. There's also a full art version that I'm really hoping we pull, but that's a pretty good start right there. Cosmog, Cosmoem, and, ooh, the Rocket Zapdos, man. This is one I never pulled in real life, but I know this card in particular is like a ton of people's like favorite card ever. This is one of the, like the reprints, obviously. Oh, that is really cool artwork though. I love that. All right, last pack from our Pikachu VMAX box. Let's see what we got. Starting Solgaleo. We got just so many of those at this point, right? Xerneas again. Dialga, our hated foe from the Nuzlocke and... <gasps> What's that? A Dawn fan. Okay, I have heard legends of this card be like wrecking uh, standard play once upon a time. Definitely one of the celebration reprints. I don't know what about it made it so good, but man, it's very pretty in the reprint. All right, Ben's handed me another thing. Sorry, I think earlier I said it was Leon's Charizard. It is Lance's Charizard and it is Lance's Charizard V. Ooh, there you go. I love the idea that they might start doing more like trainers with the Vs because I always like seeing the trainers on the artwork as well. All right, so in the tin, we have four more celebration packs to open. And then it also comes with two more uh, other sword and shield packs as well. But we'll leave those off camera for the time being. Lucky, lucky. Oh, we have another professor's research. That is awesome. I would love at least four of these to like actually play in a deck. We've got another Zekrom, Yveltal, and here comes Team Rocket. So a bunch of, we've gotten everything in that one already, but that's cool because we got another professor's research. All right, one off the top, here we go. I feel good about this one. Oh, right away, the Flying Pikachu VMAX. All right, so this one obviously goes with our Flying Pikachu V from earlier. Uh, this evolves from this. So, man, this is, uh, dude, I loved in Pokemon Yellow that you could teach Pikachu fly and they always just had the balloons on it. So that they're bringing that back in VMAX form is hilarious. Look at that little plane. I think, is that the plane that gets stuck in the Garboder VMAX? It kind of looks like it. That's cool, like, uh, uh, continuity between cards. <laughs> Guys, if we pull the base set Charizard, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to, like, this is going to be, that's going to be, I can't, I can't even tell. All right, second Mew on the day. Again, we're looking for the gold, Mew, the gold Mew with the shiny blue Mew on it. You'll know it when you see it. I hope, hopefully, hopefully, because we get it. That's going to be awesome. We've got Xerneas. Yveltal, and here comes Team Rocket. All right, I'm starting to feel like this is a little bit more common of a card, or we've just gotten really lucky, but that's our third one of those. All right, final pack from the Lance's Charizard 10, one off the back, and <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness, we pulled it! It is the full art base set Pikachu! <gasps> 
<gasps> no, dude, are you seeing this? That is so cool. Look at it. This is legal in standard too. That is what makes it so, oh my gosh. Look, you can see back there, the little parasect. I don't know, Riley, if you, can you zoom in? Oh, there he is. The, the true champion of the card, but also the chubby Pikachu. <gasps> I did not dare dream we pulled this one. That is amazing. Best card we pulled by far. Oh man, Kyogre. Ho oh, and I doubt we could get so lucky. Yeah, and Lugia. Okay. Whoa! Just the overwhelming nostalgia on this card, though. Yeah, like how oh, the it, you can really see the sunlight shining through from the forest. Like, how did this was not this is not a good card, but it is like it stands out as so iconic from the base set. Oh my gosh. All right, next up, the Elite Trainer Box. This looks like it comes with another uh, 10 Celebrations packs in addition to some other packs and some coins and stuff. So that's always good. Nice little uh, rule book for you there in case you wanna learn how to play the game. I think normally these have like a uh, guide to all the different things inside the rest of the set. This row is what we want. Any of the Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, or the Golden Mew. Mm-hmm. Once again, bunch of packs from the other Sword and Shield uh, sets thus far. We'll set those aside though. They're not the focus of today. Oh, whoa, I didn't know this. This comes with, this is, okay, this is, okay, I think. This is, uh, looks like a shiny Greninja, but it looks like it was printed in like, like Greninja wasn't a Pokemon that was in the game, I think when this, whatever set this was coming out in. So it looks like it's been printed in an old vintage style as if they like added to the set with a newer Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I think, yeah, these are called uh, Gold Star cards. So you can see the little Gold Star right there next to his name. Man, I don't think that's legal for play. Yeah, you can, if you can't, if you wanna know, that will always say right down here at the bottom, this card is not uh, legal for official tournaments if you're interested in that. Also comes with some card sleeves to put your deck in or just protect your cards if you want. Those are pretty cool with the uh, 25th anniversary logo on it. Damage counters, poison, burn markers. But here's the money, you guys. 10 more celebration packs. Can we pull the Mew? We already pulled the Pikachu, so I'm feeling pretty good. This top card seems like it's been the, the winner a couple times, so let's just see. <gasps> oh, we got another one! No freaking way! That it, <laughs> dude, seriously? That's, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Whoa, all right, we're gonna sleeve that real quick. I also have a Grudon, we haven't pulled that one yet. Ho-Ho and the Team Magma Groudon, we haven't pulled that one either. Wow, but a second Pikachu! Can you even believe it? Can you even believe it? I don't know if pulling two of them means it's actually not that rare or if we've just been insanely lucky. I don't, I love it either way. I, that is like the number one card I wanted to pull and now we have two, so. One to the back and foosh! There's a third Mew on the day. Xerneas, Cosmo M, and the Luxray. I know this one was like, used to wreck people in uh, competitive play. Again, I'm, I unfortunately have not been in the competitive game long enough to know what damage it did, but I have, this one comes up a lot if you're big into PTCG YouTube, which I am. One to the back and flourish. <laughs> yes, it is on, guys, we must have a full set for deck and there is something extra shiny poking out from the back. Oh goodness, this might be the best pack we've pulled yet. I, I, dude, dude. Okay, that's, that's cool. Oh, there's another Reshiram. I'm just gonna skip right to it. I can already see it. Look at that! Double Reshiram, triple Pikachu. What is happening? This is, what a pack. What a pack. That is insane. I don't know what to tell you guys. That's just a really good pack right there. I don't know if these are not the rarest cards, but I'm pretty pleased with them. One off the top, and guys, we can't possibly continue to get this lucky. What? <laughs> Second Pikachu flying VMAX, dude. I'm, we're gonna have to make like a straight up deck out of that. That is insane. Cosmog, Zekrom, and Dark Gyarados. Whoa, look at that guy. Man, so I think we would have been even buying cards when this was possible. I don't think I ever had one, but I can tell you this is one I would have been thrilled to pull as a child. I loved all like the rocket cards and stuff, but I think that was, coming out right as we were um, 
exiting the trading card game. And this is a weird set, because like in some ways, everything's rare, which makes nothing feel rare, but everything still feels rare. Like everything is shiny and that's always fun. Ready, go. Oh, a Zacian. So we don't have this one yet. That's awesome. It goes with our uh, Zamazenta from earlier. Zacian V already uh, has been very powerful in the meta, but this is a new one. This one has got the uh, psychic typing to go with Zacian's fairy typing as opposed to the steel typing he has on the other card. So that's pretty good. Dialga, we don't like that card. <laughs> Lame. And Kleppa. Oh, that's so cute. Look at its attack. Eek. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw seven cards. That's not the worst. That's not the worst. I don't think you could play this card, but oh, it's so cute. All right, next pack, here we go. One off the top and flip. Ooh, another professor's research. Okay, this is good because we're aiming for four of them total. And this is our third one because I would definitely just play this card as opposed to the uh, Professor Magnolia. Professor Oak, obviously the best professor and he's got special artwork, so it makes it obviously better. That's how cards work. Artwork is everything. Xerneas, Lugia, got a ton of them already. All right, here we go. We have two more packs from our Elite Trainer Box. One off the top and <gasps> Lunala, Dialga, Kyogre, and oh, oh, we've got one, Ben. We have got the base set Blastoise, what? Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, the like the 10 year old in me is freaking out. Ne not me or Ben or Ty ever pulled a Blastoise or Venusaur or Charge. I'm like none of them existed in our house. Oh, like the thrill of being able to pull it as an adult. It, it has not worn off at all. This is, that is such a cool card. Uh, let's go, I'll put that to sleeve. Put that to sleeve right now. That was pretty good. Blastoise, pretty good. And Flourish. Oh, the Surfing Pikachu. All right, so we've gotten the Flying Pikachu a couple of times, but this is our first Surfing Pikachu. Look at that guy. Regular old Surf, three water energy, 150. Don't know how playable that is. Look, it's an electric type, but it would go into water decks. I bet that's where it shines because it can uh, uh, cover some weaknesses in that way. So that's pretty good. Uh, Zekrom, Cosmom, and Cosmog. All right, boy, that's a, man, that was a pretty good Elite Trainer box overall. We got the base set and look at that. Woo, very exciting. All right, next product, we have the uh, Pokemon Celebrations Collector's Chest. Ooh, it's like a little lunch box. I'm gonna give this to Luke. He loves boxes. Oh, right out of the gate. Very cool stuff, right on top. It comes with the uh, commemorative 25th anniversary coin. I'm gonna put it under the camera here. Uh, light tox Toxtricity. We've got a, is that a Water Mimikyu and a Hydreigon C. I think these are all in the same vein as our uh, Greninja over here where they're all uh, new Pokemon printed in an old style. So I don't think they're legal for play, but they are really fun reimaginings of new Pokemon in older styles. Look at the coin, boy, I'm gonna, this is my new go-to coin for sure. That is awesome. That's the best coin since Chansey. As ever, more booster packs. And as more ever, Celebrations Packs. Also has a nice uh, sheet of stickers here. That's kind of fun. All right, this is like a little tiny singles binder. So you could open that up and just put like, uh, like a single card at a time on the inside. That's really fun. I mean, it can hold, it looks probably like closer to 50 cards, but that's neat. And a notepad. Boy, this would be an awesome gift for like, a, just like any child. So much cool stuff in here. All right, let's keep going. We can get that Charizard. We can get the Mew and Flourish. Oh, look at that, our fourth full art Pikachu. Guys, I can't tell you how much I just love this card. I, I It does not get old pulling it. This is great. If I, th we gotta find a way to play this card, right? This has got, that would be just even better. We have the Cosmoum, the Xerneas, and the Reshiram. We have actually not pulled this one yet. So that's a, this is a really good start to this box. We have the full art Pikachu and the Reshiram. So as a refresher, the way the set works is that there are 25 new cards, 25 reprints of old cards, and then all of the promo cards as well. But of the ones available in the packs, there are still 19 we have not pulled yet. And we flourish, flying Pikachu, always upside down. There he is. Oh goodness, so we've already pulled, uh, I think what, two of these, maybe? We've pulled it, we've pulled this before, but of course, if you wanna play it competitively in any capacity, you need four of them, so that's very exciting. The Groudon, 
the Cosmome, and oh, look at that. We hadn't pulled a single Reshiram yet, and now we've pulled two and two packs. And foosh, Sogaleo, Cosmome. Re wow, three for three in the lunchbox. Is that, if do you want the Reshiram? Get the lunchbox, I guess. And Palkia, all right, so nothing new in that one. All right, we've moved our card to the back and Mew! Ooh, all right, there we go. I think that's our third one on the day. Lugia, Iveltzal, and Resher four for four! What is going on? This is unbelievable. Here I was thinking Resher must be like some uncommon. And now I understand that we've just been getting unlucky with it. And foosh! Oh, another Zacian! Yes, all right, that is very good. I like that. Cosmog. Iveltal and here comes Team Rocket. That's I think our fourth one of those. So, so nostalgic still. Woo. Each player plays with his or her prize cards face up. That is pretty useful. I don't think you can actually use these cards, but that would be useful uh, with the V unions, which we will be able to show you a little bit later. Because you buy them in the um, boxes like this, that you're always guaranteed to have several packs of the card and it's unlikely that all of them will be a sort of bust. Not that necessarily these are busts, but they're all hollow, obviously. Moving right along, now we're moving into the Dragapult Prime box, which comes with a Dragapult Prime. What do you know? Okay, it also comes with the Commemorative Coin and it is a little bit different from the other one. This one's got like some specs in it and this one is just more uh, shine, just like straight uh, holographic. So that's interesting that they are a little different even though they have the same logo. Comes with a Wombo version of the Dragapult Prime. Uh, this is uh, another one of the uh, reprints of a older, po of a new Pokemon in an older style. So this is like a prime card, but you can see down at the bottom. It also says this is not legal. Obviously this one's not legal because it's jumbo, but even the, the regular size one won't be legal, but really fun idea. Oh, look at this one. This feels like it's a little bit more worth it. This comes with like a little four card portfolio with Dragapult on the front to put all your cards in. That's cool, because it's not a very big set, so you can probably put every single card inside this one. I like that. There's Dragapult Prime itself in all of its glory, Mock Turn and Diving Swipe. It would be interesting. I don't play much like retro Pokemon, but it would be cool if, uh, you know, you were able to, like, tech this into old decks and play with your friends in that way. Bust out your old cards. The downside on this box is that it only comes with the two Celebration Booster Packs, but it does come with the binder, so there's that, plus one other booster pack. All right, Dragapult Boosters, let's go. Foosh! Professor's Research, there we go. We have our fourth one. Now we can really start hunting for the uh, full art version of it. That'll be even better. Kyogre, Groudon, and Cosmoem. And Flourish! Oh, look at that! Is that four now? That's five? What? Oh my goodness, we have the five full arts. Maybe they're just not as uncommon as we thought, or maybe we have been insanely lucky today. I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna say that's what it is. God, it's still so great. Ah, oh, and only two packs from that box too. And the Dialga, no one cares about Dialga, lame. Moving right along, we're going to our Dark Sylveon box. This is like a cool idea because they're bringing back the dark idea, but it's for the Vs, so this will be a legal playable card. Okay, so I haven't noticed this, but each of the boxes have been coming with a little like uh, history lesson about where this particular kind of Pokemon originated. So you can learn about like when dark Pokemon were first introduced into the TCG. So there is uh, Dark Sylveon proper and the Wumbo card as well to go with it. Sylveon box comes with two regular booster packs and more importantly, four celebration booster packs. What can we get? Gold Mew, Charizard, one to the back. And Foolorish, ooh, second Zamazenta. Oh, and I can see something very shiny back there. I think that's something we don't have yet. We have Zamazenta, Zekrong, Cosmoom, and ooh, the Dawn Fan. Okay, so we do have one of these, but I love the, I love anything that's got a full, a full edge of the holographic around the side. This was the, uh, what was this called? The Dawn Fan Prime? Yeah, look at that guy. Woo, and Flourish. Oh, two packs in a row with the Zamazenta. That's exciting. As I mean, typically you need like four of a thing. So that that is good for modern day competitive play. And the Cosmog. All right, we'll take it. All right, final pack from the Dark Sylveon box. Let's go. One to the back and what do you think? Full Art Pikachu? Oh, Surfing Pikachu. Man, that, that was pretty close. I almost called it. We would have had six. Surfing Pikachu, Zekrom. 
Cosmoem, and Xerneas. Guys, we still we still have plenty of packs open. We can still get the Charizard. It's gonna happen. Just you wait. This might be my favorite thing uh, so far. The lunchbox was pretty great, but this is the Pikachu V Union. The V Union is the brand new mechanic in the Pokemon card game where you need to assemble four cards together, like Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh, and then they all act as one giant card, one big Pokemon that your opponent has to take down. Typically, they've got like four or five attacks or abilities on them, so they are hard to get out, but worth it. Okay, so here are the four V Union cards that make up the Pikachu V Union. I couldn't tell this looking online, but what I really like about the art is that there's like lots of different art styles of Pikachu making up the various four, which uh, it's just, I, I would love the idea that you're just swarming the field with all these Pikachus. That's really fun. Specifically, if you count them, there are 25 Pikachus, which is uh, important to Pikachu for two reasons. One, this is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and also Pikachu is number 25 in the Pokedex. So that's that's cool. If you buy any of the V Union boxes, they also come with this card, Professor Burnett, which is a helpful card because it just lets you choose two cards from your deck and discard them. And you need to, in order to get the V Union Pokemon out, all four have to be in the discard. So very useful supporter card in that regard. There you go, that's all four cards assembled. And what I kind of like about the V Unions is that you can only put one of them in your deck anyway, one of each copy of these four cards. So you only have to buy the box once to have everything you need to play the deck. Also a big Wumbo card, it's your real feel for what it looks like when it's all assembled. But most importantly, the boosters. Two regular packs and then four celebrations coming with the V Union. What do you think guys, six full art Pikachus? Dare we? Golden Mew? Venusaur. Ben calls Venusaur. Shining Magikarp. Whoosh! All right, starting with the Mew, not the gold. Dialga, Cosmoam, and Kyogre, all right. That just means we have lots, lots of room to grow from the other packs from this box. Flip! Oh, the Full Art Professor's Research! What? Oh man, that is great. Like, okay, so if you're curious, this is the regular art and this is the full art. So weirdly, weirdly, this is a rare situation where I actually think I like the uh, regular art a little bit better because he's like reaching through the frame like that, but that's okay. Cause now I can just put this one in my binder and uh, stare at it and be like, ooh, so shiny. That's a pretty good one. Lugia, Ho-Oh, and ooh, we don't have this one yet either. Rockets Admin, so another uh, Team Rocket card from way back in the day. Oh, that's awesome. There we go, one, two more uh, cards knocked off the list. 16 more cards we don't have yet. I'm thinking we're probably not gonna end up pulling all of them based on what we have left, but that's pretty close. Flourish, Lunala, Palkia, Cosmoem. Oh, oh, we got it! Oh my God! No way. You got, oh my God, I feel unsafe handling it in any capacity. I need to put it in a sleeve right now. My hands are actively becoming sweatier. Um, so that is what? Okay, now I feel safer. Dude, we just pulled that, look at it. Can we pull the Charizard? Yes, the answer is yes. No way, this is, Wow, wow, wow. I can't even, like, if the child in me was excited about the Blastoise, the child, like, how how badly does everyone want to pull the Charizard? This is, this is the card. This is the Pokemon card, right? Like, of all time. I remember uh, when we were at dinner with my parents once upon a time, me and Ben and Ty, uh, the kids in the booth behind us were opening Pokemon cards and someone, and one of them pulled the Charizard, and we were just like, what? I mean, I felt, I felt jealous till this moment. And it is fine, it's like a weight has been lifted off. We went and got Pokemon cards that night. I think I pulled a Gyarados, which was still good, but not, not this. I'm gonna just, oh my gosh. Wow, look at it. The real big pulls we have left are the Venusaur and the Golden Mew. If we get either or both of them, I will have basically gotten all of the best cards you could possibly pull from this set in one false swoop, which would be awesome. 
What if we just flip it over and this is one of them right now? Ready? I doubt it. Oh, it's a Zacian. So that's still good. I still take that. It's going to be hard for me to top the excitement of the Charizard over just about anything else. But there's your Veltal. An Imposter Professor Oak. We don't have that one yet either. So that's just another base set card. That is fantastic. This has been an amazing. What was this? The V Union? Guys, get the V Union box. That's the one to get, apparently. That had the Charizard in it. Okay, final box of the day. Can we get the Gold Mew? or the Surfing Pikachu VMAX, or the Venusaur. Those are the three big ones we have yet to pull. Oh boy, Zacian, can you do it? This has got the Zacian level X, so continuing the trend of the promo cards being uh, printed in an old game mechanic style. Again, it's got the little history uh, lesson about level X, in case you're curious about what this uh, era of Pokemon was like and the newly printed uh, Zacian card to go with it. Oh my goodness, it comes with like a little uh, pin. Pikachu, look at this, oh. You put it on the bottom, now he's flying Pikachu. Now he's surfing Pikachu. Now he's flying Pikachu. This is a good omen. I feel like we're gonna get the surfing Pikachu v -backs. That is the coolest pin I've ever seen. There's our uh, Zacian level X card. Continuing our promo collection. Two more regular boosters. And our final four celebration boosters on the day. Venusaur and Mew. Let's go. And we flip. Ooh, Zamazenta! I take it. I like I like the modern cards because we can actually use those. The Grudon, Ho Ho, and Zekrom. All right, three more packs. All right, one off the back and flip. Oh, it's another full art professor's research. Wow, that's great. That is fantastic. Oh man, the Veltzal, the Zekrom, and. <gasps> The Rayqua the Mega Rayquaza! Whoa! We haven't pulled that one yet. I was I had completely forgotten this was in here. That is very cool. Look at that. Wow, I don't know anything about this card other than that it's shiny and I love it. We flourish! Ooh, the flying Pikachu V! Alright. Yveltal, Xerneas, and Ho oh, oh. ho! Alright, we're down to our last pack of the day. Our last chance to get the Mew or the Venusaur. But no matter what, we pulled five full art Pikachus, two full art professors researches, and perhaps most importantly, the base set Charizard. Oh my goodness, what a day. All right, here we go. Last one, ready? Flourish. Lunala, Xerneas, Dialga, and, oh, Cleffa! All right, well, we already have the Cleffa, but that one still only popped up one other time. So that's a good last pull. I'll take it. It's not Venusaur or Mew, but still good. All right, we had a ton of really good pulls today. I've just sort of selected out some of what I think are some of the uh, cooler or rarer ones. We have got our Donphan, our Rocket Zapdos, our Charizard base set, our Blastoise base set, the Reshiram, which was the very first card we pulled all day. The Full Art Research, the Rayquaza, and, and of course, of course, absolutely, our little army of Pikachus. What? That is, look at those guys. Look at those guys. Oh my gosh. Guys, thanks uh, so much for uh, joining us today, opening all of these awesome Pokemon celebration set packs. Thank you again to the Pokemon company for sending us all these packs in advance. It was super fun opening them. Uh, let me know what was your favorite card we pulled today and what card are you hoping to pull uh, out of your own celebration set? I I didn't think I was gonna be so excited for this, but I am, it was, this is so much fun. Uh, thanks again to Pokemon and I'll see you next time.